Tommy and Sarah have come to the Genghis Khan Grill. Oh, it's not Genghis Khan Grill, it's Genghis Grill. It's a build your own stir fry place. Who is Genghis Khan? I know he was a warrior. When we got here, the waiter had to explain everything to us. Sarah, how do you feel about the, the process? I'm very confused. So he basically had to lay out the entire process, otherwise you'd be pretty clueless on what you needed to do to get the uh, food order started. He laid out three bowls. You pick between small, medium, or large bowl, and then you fill it up with all the ingredients. You want veggies, pick your meat, and then you have to pick your sauces. Based on the bowl size you select, you get a certain amount of, what do they call them? Bases. Bases. And it's like white rice, brown rice, fried rice, and then cabbage was one of them, spiral noodles, and then there was a uh, some other one, I forget the name of it. With the large, you get three bases. With the medium, you get two bases. And with a small bowl, you get one base. Once you pick your base, and all your meats and your vegetables, then you hand it to the cooks for the flat grill. Yeah, so you got the butcher's block. So you pick your meat. Looks like you pick your meat and they've got crab meat, chicken meat, meatballs, pepperoni. All kind of stuff. Fiesta lime chicken, Cajun chicken. You got steak. And you pick your spices. So you get your spices here. And then you get your vegetables. You a little bit of everything. You got broccoli and onions and zucchini, tofu and cabbage, and spinach, green beans and banana peppers, pineapple and green onion and carrots and corn. And then pick your flavor, your artisan flavor. They've got ginger water and sweet and sour, roasted tomato, mango barbecue, Asian chili. Oh, and then you pick your base too. So you have these options as a base based on the size bowl you pick. And then it goes to these guys over here on the grill. And they grill it up for you. These guys are good. Look at the tongs he uses there. It's a mega plate right there. really good. So we're waiting on our order. Kind of curious to see how this is uh, going to turn out. If our, if our food concoction is going to be a good one. And then here's what we did. Create your own bowl. Smalls are $9.99. Regulars are $12.99. Larges are $14.99. And unlimited bottomless bowls are $14.99. And then they've got some lunch specials. If you had got the largest bowl, you would have been able, to, you would have had unlimited trips. So a bottomless bowl is endless trips. But I did get the largest bowl. Yeah, so you better make a happy plate because there's no doggy bags or carry out. No sharing and dine-in only. You've got starters, garlic citrus edamame, chicken pot stickers pork pot stickers and chicken lettuce wraps. On the back they've got a drink menu if you're a drinker. Or if you like dessert, they've got Oreo stacks and chocolate peanut butter. A lemon berry stack. A triple stack and a good old classic brownie for $5. They've got soft drinks and teas. And create your own flavors. Cocktails and margaritas. Don't forget about the Genghis Rewards, where you earn free food and more. Be sure to download the app at GengisGrill.com. I was busy filming something and the food got set on the table, so my order came and this, this bowl is huge. A lot of food in this bowl. Thank you. So this is the large bowl with island teriyaki, chicken, Put some cabbage and broccoli and onion, tomato, and a little bit of garlic sauce. And then Sarah, Sarah went with the uh, vegetarian. Looks like she's got some zucchini, cabbage, and green pepper. What'd you get, brown rice? Brown rice and fried rice. Brown rice and fried rice. So here's the size comparison. This is the large bowl. You got the large bowl. And then over here, you've got the medium Genghis Khan bowl. So there's the size difference. 
and it looks like Sarah went light on her bowl. Is it, did you have yours full to the top? Yeah, I did. I used the island teriyaki, and it's good. Vegetables are cooked nice and crisp, not over, not overcooked. Okay, so I've got broccoli, this uh, spiral noodle, carrots and cabbage, and then under here you can see my white rice buried underneath there. Pretty hefty portion here. Yeah, the bowls are like deep. And what do you think of the flavor profile? It tastes really, really good. Yeah, the island teriyaki is awesome. Okay. I forgot I'd put in crab meat, zucchini, and a little bit of Roma tomato in there too. But this bowl is huge. If you notice the size of this bowl, it's actually hard to get my chopsticks in there to get it. You wanna try mine? Yeah, so there's the process. Pick your favorite ingredients, load up on over 80 fresh ingredients, premium meats and spices, and then you add your sauce and then they grill it up with their Genghis Grill Grill Masters. And they cook it to perfection and deliver it hot off the grill. Yeah, I like that one. But you need a good tip on a good mixture of sauce. I personally would recommend Island Teriyaki and the roasted garlic sauce. And then I use the Dragon Salt. What else? And garlic, pepper? dragon salt, garlic, and pepper. Which ones did you pick? Ginger, pepper, um, there was another one. Yeah, I don't know what made it so much. Uh, spicy. Sarah put some ingredient in her bowl mixture that was a little spicy. I think it was the Kung Pao. <laughs> did you put Kung Pao in it? Because remember when you're at the Genghis Grill, Kung Pao will make your tongue hot. You know, a little piece of uh, crab meat right here. It's pretty good. This is going to be their spiral noodle. A little bit of island teriyaki on there. And I don't have much broccoli left, but I'll put the broccoli on there. Sarah is stealing from my large bowl. Look at the size of this bowl. It's a huge bowl, but I'm working towards the bottom. Got my white rice medley. It's coming together. My mouth is on fire. Just be careful what you put in your bowl because if you don't know the spice you're dealing with, you could end up in Sarah's situation and end up with a spicy bowl. And it might not be as good as you had hoped. Like I said, highly recommend the island teriyaki with a little bit of roasted garlic sauce a little splash of dragon salt, pepper, and garlic. Heavy on the garlic. <laughs> All right, so for two people with one large plate and one or one large bowl and one regular bowl, looks like it's going to cost you thirty dollars and twenty nine cents at the Genghis Grill. And of course the waters are free. So $30.29 for a dinner for two if you order like us. So I'm gonna give it a, a thumbs up for the Genghis Grill. Little, little confusing at first on the overall process of how to build the bowl and select your meats and vegetables, but not, not that difficult. The waiter did a good job of explaining it, walked us up there. We pick the ingredients. I think the hard part comes in and on what spices and sauces will make the best stir fry. Definitely would recommend it. If you're in the Charlotte, North Carolina area off of Independence Boulevard, check out the Genghis Grill. You're not going to go wrong. Reasonable price, a little, little high on the on the cost chart there, but uh, definitely worth um, the flavor profile of the dishes. So I'm going to recommend the Genghis Grill. Come check it out and see what you guys think. And we'll see you guys on the next one. After we paid for the food, they actually came out and handed us these things called Free Bowl Mongomania scratch-off tickets. 
to, it looks like you have a chance to win a free bowl instantly. Or you can enter to win a free Genghis, I guess a free Genghis for a year. So let's see what happens here. We're going to scratch these off and see if, uh, if we're lucky winners. So Sarah, you want to scratch it off? It looks like you have to put in this code to actually win it. So, All right, not winners today, but we're going to plug those numbers in when we get home. Be sure to come out and check out the Genghis Grill. Me and Sarah give it a big thumbs up. Come find out for yourself. Sarah, what do you think? A thumbs up for Genghis Grill? Yes, thumbs up. Just be careful of the spices. Yeah, just make sure you don't put any hot spices or anything you're uncertain about. Like I said, for the fifth time, island teriyaki, roasted garlic sauce, a sprinkle of garlic and dragon salt, and then a little touch of pepper, and you should be good. Genghis Grill, Charlotte, North Carolina. Big thumbs up from Quest Capsule. See you guys on the next one.